How's it going guys? Today I'm going to show you how to do a uh, starry uh, sky pattern or like a, a galaxy pattern without an airbrush. So we're going to start with this WizKids Clockwork Dragon. Primed in black and then I just dusted a little gray over the top. You don't really have to do that. but And for the paints today, I'm going to be using the new Pro Acryl from Monument. You can get them at CreatureCaster.com. Love these paints. Um, they can do pretty much anything. But uh, I've got an assortment here. I've got a dark purple. I've got a black. Dark blue. Uh, I've got two different lighter blues. I've got a regular purple. A magenta. Uh, jade which I may or may not use and I've got an ivory and I've got a bold titanium white so that's a pure white so we're going to start off to get a large brush and get your uh, brush nice and wet this paint is fairly thin but it covers really well so I just water it slightly and I'm going to start with the dark blue and we're just going to start kind of randomly getting some paint on there. Dip in my purple, not even cleaning the brush. Then I'm going to get a little black. Kind of go in the recesses a bit. But we're just looking to kind of blend all this together. You want to start it fairly dark. And you can just kind of play around with it. If you think it needs more purple, add more purple. More black. But you can't really mess this up. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do uh, all of the wings and I'll come back and show you the next part. All right, so got all the uh, base coat done. So you're just kind of going for, you know, some areas of purple, some areas of blue, some areas of black. And as you can see, it's still wet. It doesn't take long to do even a large mini like this. So next I'm gonna dip into my uh, lighter purple. And this time I want to water it probably about 50 50. And we're just going to try to blend some of this in now. Just kind of put some spots. Like that. And then I'm just going to take my finger and kind of rub it around you're just basically trying to make some lighter areas you want it to be nice and smooth a little bit down there and then same thing with our next lighter blue Trying to give some interest and uh, 
have a nice blend of colors. And you can mix the light blue in with the purple. If you feel like you have too much in of a color, you can always go back with some thin down black. And just paint right over it and start over. So just use my brush trying to kind of blend it in so there's no edges of brighter color. But we don't want to cover all of our dark. I don't know how well that's going to show up on camera, but So it's a nice blend of dark blue, light blue, dark purple, lighter purple, with some black in there. So I'm going to do the same thing to the other wings and show you the next step. Alright, so I've let that dry completely. And I want to make the, uh, the colors we just did a little bit more pronounced. So I thinned them down. I'm going to go back to that same purple and just kind of reinforce in the areas that we painted before. I'm using a really thin paint. Just kind of feathering it in. Just want to brighten up those areas a little bit more. If you get too much, just take your finger, blot some away. Then we'll go into our lighter blue. Just keep working at it. You can always paint back over with a darker color if you don't like it. If you get too much. We're just kind of building up some layers of the brighter colors. This purple is a little more transparent than the blue so it's going to take a few more coats to really get it to stand out. 
but it also blends in much nicer. And then while I'm at it, I'm going to throw in just a little bit of this jade, which is basically like a blue-green. a little bit on each fold and I should mention you know I'm doing this on a dragon wing but you can do this on a wizard's robe or a shield I have done it on all kinds of things so don't think you only have to use this on the dragon and do one more little spot of jade up here and then I'll do the rest and come back with the next step all right come back did the rest of the wings now we're gonna move up to our magenta also very thin and Trying to keep that in the purplish areas. So put a little paint on, wipe your brush off, and then kind of feather it out. Get the brush wet. Take a little water. Smooth it in. And then you can use that real thin paint to hit some of the air, other areas. So we're just slowly building up all of those colors. So now we can go into our light blue. Go to the blue area, put some of that in, wash your brush, so the brush is just slightly damp, take that, you have to work quickly. Keep moving it around until it's nice and smooth. All right, I'll finish up the rest and come back. All right, so that has dried completely. And at this stage, it might be a good idea to give it a coat of a matte varnish and let it dry completely uh, this is kind of where it uh, gets to where you could mess it up although you can't really mess it up because you can always just go back over it but what I've done is taken one of my paint brushes and just snipped off about halfway you want to use a large brush this is a number eight round and I have just snipped it off it's not perfectly flat, so there, you'll get a little texture, and you want it to be dry. And we're going to go into our ivory, 
and we're going to wipe most of it off. And it helps if you have like a dark piece of paper so you can kind of see how much paint's going to come off when you touch it. But you basically just want to be making like a circular pattern of dots. And we're going to go in and in our brighter areas just start stippling that on. Hold the wing here. And I kind of turn the brush as I do it to get a more random pattern. Need a little more paint. You got too much of it off. But we're basically just trying to build up like a little uh, kind of a galaxy. You can see that. So we're starting with the ivory. Then we'll go to another spot, do the same thing. You can also just kind of go around, whoops, to get some just random stars. But we want to build up a few little circular spots. A little tricky on these wings because you have to hold them. All right, and then once we do that, we go into our pure white. Wipe it off. Make sure your brush is pretty dry. And then go back over the same areas. And then do some random So, then we're going to go back to our round brush, pure white, make sure we get most of it off the brush, and then we're going to try to make a dot in the center of each little cluster. that and then we can do 
just some random larger dots. Kind of fill up the sky. You can also use a uh, toothbrush and put some real thin white paint on it. Flick most of it off and then flick it onto your model. That's a faster way, but it's kind of uh, chaotic when you do it that way. So do it at your own risk. Definitely uh, test it out on some black paper. So basically you just keep going around adding stars until you're happy with it. Sometimes I make one of the ones in the clusters a little bigger. Like that. And then if we switch to a smaller brush and we take our white and I'm just going to mix in a little bit of water to, just so it's nice and thin or flow improver and then we'll take one of our clusters and we're just going to try to do the thinnest little cross pattern we can A little more paint. Turn it. So it's like a twinkling star. That. And that is basically it. You can also go back if you want to glaze over. Like say I wanted to take my uh, jade color and Put some of that in there. I can thin it down real well. Go back. Put some more of that. Kind of tint some of the stars and the other colors. So just make sure they're good and dry when you do that. soften up the uh, little patterns but yeah just keep playing with it and uh, that's pretty much all there is to it it is much easier with an airbrush but uh, I found this way works pretty well without one so thanks for watching guys make sure and hit that subscribe button and uh, see you next time